the Kia Karin's IMT. Now, this is a rather special vehicle to have out in the market. And uh, the IMT is definitely a very interesting transmission choice for a vehicle this size. We thought we'd take it out for a spin and uh, put it to the test under different driving conditions. So I'm going to be taking it out uh, through some ghats, up through uh, some nice country roads, uh, through some neat village roads as well, and along the highway on a nice test cycle to really see what the IMT is all about and what it delivers in terms of overall performance and how it enhances the overall drivability of the currents. Now for the first driving scenario, I'm actually out on a nice stretch of highway. I've got the currents knocked up to uh, three digit speeds and it's been a rather comfortable and smooth drive as well. Of course, the IMT makes driving just so easy. I don't have to do anything with my left leg. It's uh, resting to one side. And uh, at the same time, you get that engaging drive experience where uh, you do have to shift gears and uh, you know notch it into uh, the right gear as you make your way up uh, to three digit speeds. Of course, in India, driving along highways is not always about being at one set speed. So normally when you drive a conventional manual, uh, you do find yourself changing gears uh, from time to time. And if you're someone like me who likes to go out on long road trips, you know that uh, over a great distance, the changing of gears, shifting them constantly, a lot of clutch work uh, does increase uh, fatigue uh, as you go along. But uh, here, you don't have that at all. You've got the convenience and the control of a manual uh, with the convenience of an automatic as well. So it is the best of both worlds. And uh, I really enjoy the fact that uh, you can uh, imagine yourself spending really long hours behind the wheel uh, of the currents and uh, doing good time from uh, destination to destination uh, in the IMT. So it is about convenience. And as you uh, do cruise along the highway, you know, you've got that integrated uh, actuator and the TCU that does a brilliant job of uh, doing all the clutch work for you because that is what an IMT essentially does. Uh, while you do the gear shifts, there's a little uh, actuator on board along with a control unit that uh, manages uh, the entire clutch work for you and makes it easy. Uh, on uh, the driver display, I do get a prompt uh, for which gear to be in. And uh, when you do start out with the IMT, uh, it does help to have that prompt. As you go along, you get really used to it, so you know when to shift gears. And uh, the result of that, if you do follow that prompt, is that you're in the right gear at the right time, and that really makes a big difference in terms of fuel efficiency. You know, it is uh, really notching it up. This is paired with the 1.5 uh, CRDI engine, and uh, that is already a frugal unit. And uh, with the IMT, I believe that uh, it could possibly be doing uh, even better, if not at par uh, with the standard manual version as well. What you do get is that you're not really pushing the engine, you're not stressing the engine, and that makes a big difference in the overall mileage that you get out of uh, the current IMT. My second scenario is driving on country roads. Now, uh, these are obviously narrower roads. Uh, you do get nice stretches of tarmac, but at the same time, uh, they do pass through uh, numerous small villages. It is a lot slower driving through here, and you are dealing with uh, uh, some tight uh, turns uh, that you might encounter along the way. Plus, India being India, a lot of people do put up their own speed breakers. And, uh, that again requires you to slow down, to pick up, and uh, you know, uh, if you were driving a conventional uh, manual, it would also require a lot of gear changes. But here, uh, what I'm getting is uh, the convenience of an automatic. And uh, once again, the IMT shines uh, in such uh, driving scenarios. Uh, the one thing that I've really appreciated about it is that uh, it doesn't stall. So even if you do slow down, uh, and come to a complete halt, it won't stall. Uh, that is something that uh, you do get in a manual. 
and uh, if you were to do that in a conventional manual you'd also go get a lot of engine knock but over here uh, what happens is that it comes to a complete halt like a conventional uh, automatic and uh, you get a prompt it's this little beep that you get to hear that tells you that uh, you need to shift down and uh, get into the right gear but uh, it doesn't stall which is something that is absolutely great and uh, if you're wondering about how to drive an IMT in uh, start-stop traffic for example living with it in a city this is uh, what makes it so convenient uh, in a city as well and out here on these uh, narrow roads it's also playing its part here is a vehicle a transmission that gives you the best of both worlds and uh, you've got the control and you've got the convenience so there's really not too much more uh, to ask for uh, when it comes to that coming to the third driving scenario which is up a nice ghat and through the hills and according to me is also the harshest of all tests uh, that we have laid out here for the IMT because uh, a ghat uh, is a rather demanding drive experience and I'm not just talking about having the right amount of engine power. Of course, you want a nice powerful vehicle to get you through, but it is also about how the transmission does. Now, uh, on the ghat that I'm on, case in point, uh, being the one that leads up to Kodekanal in Tamil Nadu, it is uh, a neat ghat. You tend to spend a lot of time in second or third gear and uh, with the season time on and tourist traffic on, there's a lot of gear changing to be done as well because there's a lot of traffic and you end up having to deal with uh, slower speeds uh, getting caught behind a bus and uh, with that you also have uh, you know the challenge of doing a quick overtake maneuver because the straights are not very long and you need something that's gonna you know drop a gear and get you right by I've driven numerous torque converters out here and I can tell you that uh, there are times that you step out to do an overtake maneuver and then you have to pull right back in because of the lag. Now with the IMT, I've not had that. So thanks to that control, uh, it makes overtaking in the hills very easy. It also makes it easy for me to select the right gear to be in uh, and deal with the, the steep inclines and uh, tight corners that I have to take. So you've got all of that uh, going for you. And uh, the other thing about the IMT uh, in the hills is that it makes the entire drive experience extremely engaging. So without having to work a clutch all the time and uh, with your focus on the road, uh, you can push hard. You can actually uh, you know, push really hard and it does uh, transform uh, uh, your drive experience into something that's uh, extremely engaging, extremely fun and uh, you're always in the right gear and uh, it's easy to you know just shift and get uh, to where you need to be in terms of uh, the transmission ticking over at the right place so all in all uh, driving it uh, in the hills is probably uh, the true testament according to me uh, for uh, the IMT it is extremely convenient it's a lot of fun and uh, it's something that I've really enjoyed pushing through uh, the hills right here as I've made my way up uh, to Kodakanal. And uh, I should also add that, uh, you know, the convenience uh, level that uh, it adds in the hills is outstanding. I can see this appealing to uh, numerous types of buyers, from the enthusiast uh, to the no-nonsense buyer as well. Out here, I've uh, really enjoyed uh, shifting gears uh, it does the switches really fast, which is again something that you need in the hills. Uh, like I said, it's about reaction time. It's about having something that will shift when you want it to. And it is rather intuitive uh, in that sense. So you do get uh, that uh, sense of uh, control with it. And uh, as I've made my way up the hill, I've really uh, been able to push hard and uh, really see what this uh, transmission can do and uh, it does put a smile on your face. Having driven through uh, country roads, the hills, the highways and all of that, uh, the one thing that does cross my mind is that with the IMT, what you get is 
absolute control in terms of driving but it's also extremely stress-free and at the same time because you got the actuator doing all the work for the clutch it actually brings down maintenance costs so i think that that's a great uh, added bonus uh, with an imt uh, you bring down uh, maintenance costs you bring down the fact that uh, your emissions also uh, drop because you're not constantly stressing the engine and uh, that has a positive impact on the environment too so with an imt not only are you getting the convenience of uh, driving the ease of driving you're also getting a lower maintenance bill overall and uh, you're doing your little bit towards uh, reducing your carbon footprint. So I think that that is definitely an added bonus with uh, an IMT. So what's my take on the IMT? Well, overall, it's a lot of fun. It does take a little bit of getting used to when you first set out because when you don't have that clutch and you've got gears to change, you know, your mind is telling you something else. But uh, once you get used to it, it is an absolute blast. I've enjoyed driving it in the hills. I've enjoyed driving it down beautiful highway stretches, as well as taking it on some nice country roads. And it has proved to be extremely convenient. And uh, with that, it is also extremely fuel efficient as well, because the IMT is uh, sort of selecting the gears at the right time and it's sort of prompting you when to change the gears. And uh, that makes all the difference when you're driving around to get the best possible mileage. So that's something that I've noticed as well. It's a very fun, practical and uh, useful vehicle that's extremely convenient no matter where you take it. Whether you're out on the highway for a drive or in the city puttering around uh, on your day-to-day -day commute. It is something that makes life very convenient.